Well, Phil Vickery joins us now with some dishes that our esteemed panel of teeny tasters will hopefully taste, test and also enjoy. Before we start, so we're, do you know what, from personal experience, when my kids were growing up, I found that and the government guidelines certainly say six months you should wean, various other people say differently, mm. but I found uh, six months is quite a good time, but also my wife would say, when they can pick up a spoon, then you should give them food to try, mm. at least. But also, the, the one survey I read at the weekend focused on the fact that they fed artichoke puree to children, and they said for a period of time, a lot of them didn't like it at the start, but at the end of that period of time would actually either tolerate or eat it. I think you do get used to tastes. I think you do. And as adults, Heston Blumenthal... Same with us. Yeah, Heston once said, I think, if you didn't like olives, try a little piece for a month. After that four-week period, the chances are you might, you it's might true. like it. It's Maybe I should do that with a white of an egg. Well, do you know what? I was thinking about <laughs> <that> the <weekend. laughs> We can test you on this theory. But, um, so what have you got here? Right, so here we are. So on, just sort of touching on that, uh, on that survey, here I've got an uh, artichoke puree. Mm. And bear in mind, I've got nothing in here. All I've got is what we've got here. These artichokes in a can with no salt, no sugar, no Out oil. Out of a can? Out of a can. Oh. And we liquidised it, OK? And put a little bit of water. Did you have to cook them? No, nope, they're all cooked. Really? In a can, yeah. Liquidised it. Again, nothing in there. Have a little taste of that. Well, yeah. I will. So you yeah. put a tiny bit of water... Oh, thanks for the spoon. Can I have mm -hmm. a little baby spoon, please? Can you have that one? Thank you. <laughs> so you just you just put liquorize it, in. it, yes. So you've got a lovely puree. I cause... should be going like this. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in. Here, here, here we go. Here we go. Come on. It's quite come sharp. Come on. It's I'll sharp. just pick it up and throw here it on the floor we go. like my used to. I'm not eating off that. It feels weird. That um, <laughs> that's quite sharp. It is sharp. But look at this. Just watch this now. Look, look at the reaction here. So this is this is your angel. Now watch her face. Look, oh, 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 she actually quite liked it. There's Sarah. Yeah. So Sarah quite liked it as well. Mm-hmm. Purdy, no chance. Purdy's but, like... but the interesting thing about this is, as an experiment, is Purdy is two, whereas Angel's very, very young. Oh. So we, we're just proving that. That, point. that is quite an acquired taste. I think it, it is. is. But I've also found, in my personal experience, that kids love extremes of flavour. Really? So they like saltiness, they like sweetness, they like chilli. Even my daughter, we gave her chilli one day, when she was very young, a little tiny bit, and her little face was there, but then put a bit of chocolate in her mouth, and her eyes rolled. So that proved to me that they knew... They As knew in she the tastes the difference between... flavour and texture, absolutely. What, what's this one? So, this is next experiment. So all I've got here mm. is a can of sweet corn, no, no, nothing else. No oil, no nothing. Just pureed. Now, and there's no salt in those. Nothing. So this is here. This is a slightly chunkier mm. texture. I like that oh, one. I could eat but that it all day. It is quite sweet. Can I but, ask you a question? Yes. If you're getting vegetables from a tin, yes. doesn't that defeat the object of making your own food? It does. But when you've got babies, well, a lot of people buy jarred food. Yeah, no, uh, I know. But I'm, I'm thinking, is there any difference between jarred food and veggies out of a tin? I mean, if you're going to if you're going to make your own, you should, should be you, buying fresh veg. Yes, you should. But where you can get sweet corn in the middle of winter, you can buy them at certain supermarkets, but they're not necessarily yeah. there. And I've, and I've read a research paper recently where canning now has gone into a different era where they, they are uh, keeping more nutrients and more vitamins in really? the canning process. We could use frozen. You could use frozen, and you could also use fresh. I mean, again, a lot of this is just my it's personal so good. experience. I don't, I don't like the artichoke. No, but it's interesting. The kids, two of the kids, did mm. even even at that. Angel. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Look Some at this. The sweet corn. This is a sweet corn reaction. Angel first. Now watch Angel's face. Does Angel yeah, like yeah, sweet yeah, corn? Yeah, yeah. Look at a little eye. And then Sarah was like, oh, actually, oh, I quite like that. And uh, good old Purdy. Purdy. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Did Purdy but have he's... a large breakfast <laughs> this morning? Purdy's not I up think. for much, actually, at the no. moment, <laughs> is she? I think she's uh, got up a bit late. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. And finally, I wanted to move that on slightly. So in here, I've got banana, uh, just chopped banana, mashed banana, with a little bit of lime juice. So you're cutting the sweetness of the lime, uh, of the banana. It but looks also... like monkey vomit. <laughs> <laughs> Is it any wonder our kids don't come across monkey vomit? But that's exactly. what it would look like. Is it? They eat lots of bananas, <laughs> and it would look like that. I, I think it's a different colour. Do you know, don't be shocked if you were the first time you give your, uh, your toddler banana... Oh. Uh, in the nappy, yeah. it comes out. It, you, it's got little tiny wiggly what, black lines. Come out like oh. that? It's got it's got wiggly black lines in. We thought really? there was something hideously wrong oh, with Molly gosh. and uh, and banana. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, it does. It does, and it stains as well. Lime oh. and banana. banana. So here we've got a cross between 
the acidity of the lime, but also banana. But here again, you've got a textural thing. And I think it's very important that you Actually, enjoy that is nice. the texture. That is really nice. And kids that would be nice on some ice cream. <laughs> Absolutely. But kids understand texture and colour. Have a look at this. That's nice. Look, look, look at this reaction here. So, the look. Angel. angel. It's being a bit of an angel. Yeah. Sarah's, on that point, not had enough. And oh, Penny! Penny! Oh, 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 we tried. But it was there. So, so close. that proves to me that kids do understand all these things. Yeah. It's very, very interesting. And um, again, as I say, a lot of it is from personal experience, but it's, it's paramount that we try very early.